let's talk about third class lever exactly what is it third class lever can be defined this way a lever in which effort is applied in between load and fulcrum is called third class of lever very simple definition for example spade human arm fishing rod etc are third class of lever we can see diagram of some of the third class lever and we can declare how it is third class lever look at this is spade usually we take sand soil etc at this place that's why the position of load is this and we take hold at this place i mean you say this part doesn't move because on other hand holds it and we apply force at the middle and we throw that soil or sand to certain place this way it works that's why effort is acting in between the fulcrum and load so a spade is third class of lever now another example with this this is a tongue and here it is load and load is at one end and we apply effort at this place and it doesn't move at this place it means effort is in between the fulcrum and the load so this is third class of lever now next this is fishing rod at this place we are holding the rod and it doesn't move and this is called fulcrum but we apply effort at this place in the middle and the weight of the fish is the load that's why effort is acting in between the fulcrum and load so we can say that fishing rod is third class lever these are some example in which effort is acting in the middle of the fulcrum and load so they are third class of lever how to draw the diagram of third class of lever this way we can draw diagram fulcrum is at one end and load is at another end and effort is acting in the middle and so this is third class of lever but we have to show the distance from fulcrum to the effort as effort distance and the distance from fulcrum to the load as load distance and this is complete representation of third class of lever okay now looking at this diagram it is very very clear that load distance is longer than effort distance because distance from fulcrum to the load is greater than fulcrum to the effort so load distance is longer than the effort distance then which advantage of simple machine can be obtained from this third class of lever there are major three advantages number one magnification of effort number two increase of speed of the work and number three change of direction of force out of these three advantage of simple machine which we can get from this third class of lever let's check it for the magnification of effort effort distance should be longer than load distance otherwise the lever never magnifies the effort but here load distance is longer than the effort distance that's why this first advantage we cannot get and look at the second increase of the speed of the work here load distance is longer than the effort distance if load distance is longer than the effort distance in, in any simple machine then that machine increases the speed of the work this advantage we can get from this third class of lever actually it increases the speed of the work change of direction of force can we get this advantage no why without this lever if we had to raise this load then we had to apply force in the vertically upward direction but using this third class of lever again we are applying the force in the vertically upward direction so it doesn't change the direction of force so out of these three advantages only one advantage we can get from this simple machine third class of lever that is increase of speed of the work now what about velocity ratio velocity ratio is the ratio of effort distance to the load distance we know this and in this case effort distance is less and load distance is more so if a less value is divided by more value then we will get less than one the result will be less than one so in case of third class of lever velocity ratio is always less than one this is one of the important information about third class of lever after all this understanding why don't we go through one numerical problem let's solve one numerical problem efficiency of a lever is 80 percent find the effort distance if 20 newton effort is applied at one end of the lever to raise a load of 80 newton placed at the distance of 10 cm in the another side from fulcrum 
First, we have to write the information given in the numerical problem. Efficiency 80%, load distance is given 10 cm and load is 80 newton. Effort is 20 newton. We have to find out effort distance. To make it more clear, I want to draw one diagram to represent this condition. Actually, in examination student, they do not have to draw this diagram. But for your convenience only, I am showing with the help of a diagram the given condition. The distance from fulcrum to the load is given 10 cm. Here it is. And 80 newton load is raised. Effort is applied at another end and it is 20 newton. We have to find out this effort distance. Let's solve the numerical problem. We can say we have efficiency eta equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100%. In place of mechanical advantage, we can write load by effort and efficiency is given 80%. In place of VR, we can write effort distance upon load distance because we, VR is effort distance by load distance. And now we can put the value load is 80 newton and effort is 20 newton and load distance is 10 centimeter and if we divide 80 newton by 20 newton we will get 4 in the numerator and newton newton also cancel and if we take this effort distance towards left hand side then uh, it becomes effort distance and 80 percent comes in denominator now 10 goes up and we'll have 4 into 10 centimeter divided by 80 percent into 100 percent percentage percentage cancel 0 0 cancel if we multiply and divide lastly we'll get effort distance 50 centimeter and we can write one sentence for it therefore effort distance is 50 centimeter okay i gave you very genuine and very simple information about third class of lever okay we'll meet in another class